Welcome to this quick intro video for fingerprint. Over the next five minutes or so, we'll cover what fingerprint is, what it isn't, and the challenges that it solves. By the end, you'll understand when and why fingerprint could be right for you. Let's get started. So first things first, what is fingerprint? Well, fingerprint is a SaaS platform that companies use to identify web browsers and online devices and get actionable insights into visitors to their websites. So let's break that down a bit. Fingerprint offers two main products, identification and smart signals. Let's start with our future product, identification. It allows you to generate a unique identifier or device fingerprint and associate it with a specific web or mobile device. By analyzing attributes like operating system, language settings, fonts, and screen resolutions, we can recognize return visitors 99.5% of the time. That's even after browser updates or when using VPN or incognito mode. Our second product, Smart Signals, enhances visitor insights by giving you additional attributes about the visitor's device. We can tell you if they're connecting through a VPN, whether the device is jailbroken, if it's a bot, and much more. Both identification and smart signals are developer products and are accessed through a JavaScript snippet and our REST API, making it really easy to integrate into any system. So now we know what fingerprint is. Let's talk about what fingerprint isn't. Fingerprint is not a biometric or human fingerprint scanning product. We don't do anything with real life fingerprinting. Fingerprint as a company and a product does not support cross-site tracking. We work within the context of one site and the same device will have two different identifiers between two different sites. Along those same lines, fingerprint is not designed for ad tech since, again, we don't support tracking of visitors across websites that will be necessary for that use case. And finally, fingerprint does not collect any information about the person using the device. We don't know who that visitor is, their name or their email address. We just identify browsers and devices. Next, let's take a look at how and when to use a fingerprint visitor identifier. There are three main ways to do it. The first is the simplest, just comparing the current identifier to the previous identifier for a user. The second counts up the number of identifiers associated with one piece of data, like a user account. And the third is the opposite, counting the data associated with one identifier. An example of the first pattern is reducing login friction. Simply generate an identifier at login time and compare it to the last identifier you saw for the user. If they match, great. Log them in without any additional verification or friction. If not, then prompt for more information and make sure it's really them. An example of the second pattern is the prevention of account takeover and account sharing. Count up the number of device identifiers associated with one user in a certain time period. If you see more identifiers than you would expect, that might mean unauthorized access to that user's account. The third pattern might be the most powerful. It includes use cases for coupon and promo abuse, preventing signup and referral fraud, chargebacks, and much more. For example, Generate an identifier whenever a visitor does an important action, like creating an account. If the number of accounts associated with that identifier is higher than expected, that could be a sign for new account fraud. Every one of these patterns is flexible and can be tailored to your business needs. Our goal is to provide you with highly accurate information and identification so you can make your own decisions. Whether you want to identify suspicious users, prevent fraud, or improve your user experiences. We focus solely on device intelligence and are constantly researching new techniques and browser standards so that you don't have to. 
Now that you know a bit more about Fingerprint, why not head over to Fingerprint.com, start a free trial, and try it out for yourself. Take care.